showing five former Memphis police officers engage in what prosecutors have charged as acts of murder. What's his name? The death of Tyree Nichols has become the latest reckoning for a country still struggling to define and bring about police reform. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Here at home, the Tyree Nichols case is serving as a reminder for officers and new recruits about perhaps a less talked about aspect of the job, the duty to intervene. Look, here's an incident that makes our whole profession look bad. Wouldn't it be great if there was an officer there that intervened? I went to the Kansas City Regional Police Academy to see how this lesson is being taught to new recruits. First, the people you see in this video behind me, these are actors, members of local law enforcement who are acting out a scenario. In particular, I want you to watch for a technique, this one right here, where this officer simulates putting his knee on a suspect's neck. To be clear, this is not an approved technique, nor is it one that is taught locally at the police academy. The question is, you're watching this video, will the recruits catch this technique? And if so, what will they do about it? Get off me, man! A call to assist an officer. Get off me! I didn't do anything wrong, man! With a suspicious person at a local YMCA. 15, 15. Got it? 10 burpees and then go on your call. Yes, ma'am. The burpees and the run up the stairs are a strategic part of this exercise meant to elevate their heart rates and spike their adrenaline. He's over there, go! Help him! Similar to what they'd experience on a real call. As they rush to their fellow officer's aid, they find both men on the ground with the officer kneeling over the suspect. I got this, take a walk. Hey, One recruit immediately notices the knee positioned over the suspect's neck and attempts to de-escalate the situation by removing that officer who peels off with another student. 332, can I get a supervisor at EMS to my location? Do anything to him for jumping on me like that? Hey, we'll get it figured out. All the while, these recruits are being recorded by a bystander with a cell phone, something they need to be prepared to handle in the real world. I got you, bro. Don't worry. Okay. You good, man? I'm good, man. Uh, Have him back up. I got his name, too. Have him back up. Got her, too. Yes. <laughs> Henry, Adam, Robert, Robert, Ida, Sam. The recruits check with dispatch and confirm the suspect has a warrant for his arrest, concluding the exercise. So, how did they do? Their instructor says they successfully recognize the neck hold as being a technique that is not approved. They get points for removing the officer from the situation, for calling a supervisor to report that officer's behavior. He's going to stay here until EMS comes. And for requesting EMS to assist the suspect in case he was injured. What could they have done better? Their instructor says they should have recognized the bystander with the cell phone was getting too close and should have asked him to move back for his safety sooner. I thought you had a great use of the three-person crew. Um, I thought you did a good job of slowing down and taking your tasks one at a time. Now on to the next group. Go ahead, Mike. To see if they'd earn the same high praise. Again, first the call with limited information. 331, you're 10 7, responding on a reporter to assist the officer. Contact radio 343, who's off duty. 10 burpees, right there. Okay. Yep. Next, burpees and a sprint upstairs. He's help! He's over there! But this time, a different reaction from the responding recruits. Get off me, man! I got you! I, told you, I got get you off this me. time! I didn't do anything wrong, you. man! The first one on the scene doesn't seem to notice the officer's knee on the suspect's neck, which we can see better from this angle. Instead, he grabs the suspect's legs in an attempt to subdue him. The second recruit comes into the picture, but doesn't notice the neck hold either. While one cuffs the suspect, the other urges the bystander to move back. Oh, sir, step back. Come over here. Over, sir, over here. Now. It isn't until the officer appears to kick sir, the suspect, sir, the recruits realize sir, hey. something is amiss. Stay back. Stay back. Come with me, come with me. Come over here. Come over here, no. Over here. From here, the results are similar to what we saw with the first group. Why you hold me down? Get here! Again, looking back at their performance, their instructor gives them points for eventually removing the officer and calling for a supervisor. The big takeaway for this group, though, is they need to keep an eye out for unapproved defensive techniques, even at the hands of one of their own. So you should have recognized that 
is not an approved or safe defense tactics technique. So that should have been your, your first thing. These students will see another duty to intervene exercise before they graduate, reinforcing the lessons learned here. The Kansas City Regional Police Academy has been doing this type of training exercise with new recruits for more than a decade. We're sworn to uphold the Constitution and we're sworn to uphold the law and, and that doesn't matter uh, if, if it's uh, another police officer that maybe uh, you see or perceive as violating that, then it's our duty to intervene into that situation. I don't think the general public recognizes how much emphasis, uh, specifically in Kansas City, that, that their police department puts into this, how seriously we take it. And it's not just the new recruits who are practicing their duty to intervene. Following George Floyd's death, there's been an added emphasis on requiring even seasoned veterans to do something similar as part of their annual in-service training. For the I-Team, Caitlin Canute, KSHB 41 News, back to you.